Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. I'm going to be adjusting idle speed on this 1987 Mercedes Benz. So if you want to see how it's done, stay with me in this video. This year is equipped with the electronic idle speed control system, which is called ELR. And these are the steps I will take to adjust the idle speed. The first thing to do is to make sure that the throttle cable has a slack on it. This part has to have a very slight slack on it. It cannot be pulling on these levers. So if there is not a slack, you will turn this in until you achieve that little bit of slack. The next will be to run the engine and bring it to the operating temperature, which is 80 degrees Celsius. And after the engine warmed up, you are ready for adjustment. And the vehicles built in the years 86 and 87 are equipped with so-called ELR resistance trimming plug. You can see here right now that this plug has seven positions and it's set right at this moment in position number four. On this engine, which is model 603.960, every single position has a set idle speed. Number one will be 590 RPM, number two it's 610, number three it's 630, Number four, it's 650. Number five, it's 670. Number six, it's 690. Number seven, it's 720 RPM. So if your electronic idle control system works correctly, this is a very great device because you can come here, pull it out, and you can select different speeds. And you can engage it in number five or number six, seven, whatever, if you want to lower your RPM or make it higher. Here you can see inside of the plug and you can basically see that it works by changing resistance. I want my idle to go higher, so I put it in the position seven and I'm going to start the engine and see if there is any difference. I'm listening to my engine, unfortunately I can hear the idle, it's exactly the same, so I can see that system, that electronic system is not working, but don't give up, there is one more way to adjust the idle speed. And this adjustment will be done on the injection pump and it will be purely mechanical adjustment. The first step is done while the engine is running and I have to unhook this electric connector from that ELR actuator, uh, have it unhooked for at least three seconds and then plug it back. In next step I'm using two wrenches and it's a 13 millimeter and a 6 millimeter. And what I'm doing, I have to loosen this large nut, which is the 13 millimeter, and I will be very slightly rotating this rod, and that's what I'm using, that 6 millimeter box wrench. So here we go, the 13 millimeter will break loose that nut, which just happened. I hope you can see it, it's really difficult to uh, film this. Now I can put that 6 millimeter on that adjusting nut, which you can see right now. And I'm going to start the engine and show you how little movement will change that idle speed. And hopefully you can see, right now I'm adjusting that, using that 6 millimeter. And you can hear the change in the idle. When it goes up, Slowing the idle and the wrench goes down, it makes the idle higher. And after I have selected my desired idle speed, I will use both wrenches.
the six millimeter will hold the rod in the position and I will use the 13 millimeter to tighten that locking nut. Here we go. And that was the way I did adjusted that fixed or static idle speed of the injection pump and the engine. Of course the whole procedure was by the ear only because I don't have a special tool, some kind of tachometer or, or pulse generator which will help me to set the idle speed exactly for example to 610 rpm but at this moment i'm satisfied with the results and of course i have another project to go and diagnose where is the problem with that electronic idle speed system because obviously it doesn't work so please stay tuned or even better subscribe because i have way more videos coming your way thanks for watching and have a wonderful day